Speaking of shifting definitions and things, I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't. Wanna, I, don't wanna, I don't even know what my job is in this situation. But I feel like I, have a, I don't have a job. There is no job. There's no policing. There's nothing going on. But I thought it's an interesting, like part of the conversation to bring up that, like, we had, like very funny, uh, Rory Albany's uh, on last week in in New York, and like, I I I was sitting there, so I think like. Like there, there was a there was a really uncomfortable kind of coincidence that happened, which was that like I don't R- Rory Rory was not looking at if you're if you're listening to the podcast Rory is not looking at Jane I don't think I don't think he knows Jane exists or where Jane is Rory is hearing about Jane verbally and um and so you, like and then there's a point where Rory as a as a stand up comic coming from a certain like uh uh some 90 percent of the time admirable like instinct for skepticism of of social trend and fad and group think and things is is still like like heard i think got got the name wrong jan or jane or something wasn't looking at jane but then like went on went into a kind of riff about and i know it's okay to have boobs these days and whatever you want or the transgender thing and, and, and i was like oh god this is terrible because jane really jane is a trans uh, uh, harmontown fan and uh, the the that that that's what happened it was just sort of a bumper car crash and i didn't th- you know i i i thought it was good to let the traffic keep moving rather than stop down the entire show and uh, like i knew that I knew that Jane would probably most likely be tickled by the whole thing, but and I have no idea if anything happened online as a result of that. We're living in tender times, uh, <laughs> and uh, I but I but I did see a tweet or two that implied that maybe I don't know a conversation got generated about that moment because it's like a really important like uh, bottleneck uh, that we're going through all at the same time. Uh, and so there's a conversation generated on there. I just, for, for my part, until, uh, I don't know any more information. I just wanted to say I was sitting there on the stool and I don't, there was no, you, you, no one was witness to a microaggression. I almost feel dumb, like, like, like being a traffic cop for that. But I, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm always like the most bumped out about people hurting each other's feelings. Um, because I know that nobody wants to. I know that nobody would ever. There's so few people that would ever make that choice. If somebody's actually, by the way, here's a trick. Like if somebody's like saying something hurtful to you, uh, it's either a misunderstanding or like they're putting so much energy into trying to hurt you that like they they must be anticipating the same from you. There's no other reason why they would do that, you know. And the, and they're always drawing that energy from some some other part of them. That's like a a great place for a sneak attack, which is like their respect receptor. Like if somebody's like being a total piece of shit to you, like th- there's almost nothing to lose by even giving that 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 first shot, which is just just being nice. Which by the way, J- Jane always does. Like Jane always meets that stuff with total resilience and and compassion, which is which makes you wobble and goes like, oh, I thought this whole thing was about making me feel bad. Um, so, anyways. I got high before the show, and uh, I don't know who any of these people are. I've <laughs> What's it only one? heard the episodes I've actually been on, so it's two. Uh, uh, you can What's reference it? those episodes. I'll know what you're talking about, but didn't he say he used to, he he played a lot of Gwent? That guy, Rory. I think, he, yeah, he's but yeah, backstage. Rory. Rory, who's awesome, by the way, was doing this IFC pilot with us. A really, really, really cool guy. Um, uh, yeah, he I th- was it. Him he said or he was stopped it? playing the game. I think because he was just playing Gwent. Yeah. With NPCs. Yeah, think, yeah. Well, if you overheard that, then it was him for sure. Yeah. 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 He plays. He goes. He plays for the Gwent for you Witcher three fans. That's some Witcher three comedy for you. <laughs> he plays for the Gwent. Holy shit! We're gonna bring our guests up. Jesus Christ! <laughs> what the fuck? I was just gonna say what something. The fuck. What were you going to say, Ryan Ridley? I was going to say, let's keep the show moving, because that's what a comptroller is supposed to do, right? In what way should we keep the tro- show moving, Comptroller Ridley? Let's bring up our guests. Oh, shit. Dan? <laughs> Introduce our guests. Oh, well, sorry, sorry. I was, I was reading text from, from Aaron. Excellent Comptroller. Thank you. 